The reason why harm reduction should be the core of Australia's drug policy is because it works. It's effective, it's safe and it's cost effective. Uh, for example, the needle and syringe program in the first decade of this century in Australia cost taxpayers about $200 million, saved about 33,000 HIV infections, another 100,000 hepatitis C infections and saved taxpayers somewhere between 2.4 and 7.7 .7 billion dollars. Second reason why harm reduction should be the core of what we do is that it's much more effective, much safer and much more cost effective than the other things we do for drugs, especially much more effective uh, than law enforcement than trying to reduce the supply of drugs, the availability of drugs. Despite all the money that is uh, the gold bars that are dropped on courts, police, prisons uh, to try and make drugs unavailable. Drugs are readily available. Not only are they readily available, the drug market keeps on getting bigger and bigger and even worse, keeps on getting more and more dangerous. And that's the fault of trying to rely so heavily on law enforcement.